Welcome gamers to episode 4 of this Let's Play series. We are playing Brigand, Brigandine, the Legends of Runersia. God, it's a bit of a tongue twister there. Uh, when we left it last time, we've just started our, our collection back in through this side. We used one of the, um, one of the uh, what is it, the unicorns, just to sort of cure a lot of the problems that was happening through here. If we just press U, we can then sort of see that the attack and defense are still down, but all of the other conditions have now been taken off this one. This is our best dragon unit and we'll be wanting that to do a massive damage run through there so um, we need to we need a few different things in through this side <laughs> so we've got, got a lot happening um, now B we've got this one here who has also now taken a bit of damage but it's still okay now if we have a look at the damage that we can do within within like his ability so if we go and click on him he's got a magic there's a lot that we can do so we've got solid uh, Echo Blast. Now this one here is a um, deals massive damage to a single enemy unit within a two hex radius. That may be worth doing. Curse within a two hex radius as well. I don't have anything worthwhile. I've got, do I have weakness? Magic down. Geno. I've got Venom, which is in, within three. Minor damage to a single unit and ch chance to have. Um, is that one there? Flame deals moderate damage. You can see the um, you can see the abilities that he has. Like he's got fl uh, four fire and one death sort of uh, elemental, and his protection is also fairly high. This one here is fairly cheap for me to use, and it does a lot of damage, and it's also range three. So I'm going to go and hit this guy here because I want to bring this one down. Now this is going to take him down by 168. There we go. And he's down to 103 now, which means that the dragons can finish him off next at the end of this next turn. And then once he's gone, all of the ones that are listed as C will also then disappear. So finishing him off would be would be awesome. Um, this one here, we could, we've got an 80 back and through there. I can hit that one. I've also got this dragon here. And now, which way do we want to go with this? I think we might hit that one with the dragon. Actually, what I might do is I might go with this one first and just sort of see what um, what happens. Yeah, it just takes him to the meadow. Skill, poison slash. It's not going to do. See how it's, it's only going to do 65, and it's going to do way too much coming back. So let's not do that one. So I can just right click and move that one back. It's only if I do standby that I can't do anything. So let's use the dragon next in that case. Although I do actually have this one as well. If I move that one up onto the swamp, I do have minus 10% accuracy if I do that. But, well actually this guy's in the way. I'm going to move him back because he really is just a waste of space to be honest. Stand by. Skill, Hunter Shot, I should be using what we have, and that's going to do 72 damage. Oh, it would have been useful to have both of those working together, actually, in, in hindsight. Um, the accuracy you see is fairly low. 72. Yeah, I don't need much else to, um, to really get things going through here. Now, this one here, what I want to do is I want to use magic, and I want to protect this unit here. Just get the defences up. Because it looks like they were going to try to target that one at some stage. Uh, the healer... Just, again, actually I might heal that one up, I think. Let's go magic, heal. Let's get it up nice and high again. And um, we've still got this guy. Now, it's all that's left out of B. And so the, the damage, I, can, I might as well kill this thing off. And if I have a look at the skills, the Dragon Fury, I'm gonna, I can do like 95 points to that one, but it's not going to get it killed. I'll go that way. dead. Right, level two, good stuff. Three, excellent. Now, the big guys. 
So we want to start off with this dragon here because um, it's still got um, it's still got 86 mana points left, so it's got enough mana to use one more of these big fire breaths running all the way down through there, and it's possibly going to kill off that C commander. It's also going to do damage to the B commander. The C commander is in charge of a lot of the forces that we're seeing in through here, so um, all of these will then disappear or should disappear if he gets if he gets smashed. So we've got maximum like there's there's enemies on every single tile that's good going so he's down to 28 he's going to level 11 excellent um now we've got the um the unit that's over here this is another a so we can use all of these um now i'm gonna i'm gonna move that one in to hit this one afterwards the, the b commander but let's just get rid of the C commander in through here. So if we just go to skill and Dragon Fury in this instance, and we have a 93% chance of actually doing damage here, and that will then kill it if we, as long as we don't miss. 88, and that's now dead. He'll say goodbye. So sorry, saying my defenses were not as impregnable, impenetra, impregnable as I thought. So he's now goes basically out. And so you see there, uh, he's gone up to level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5. Wow, that was a big, big attack there. Now, these guys, have didn't they didn't actually leave, um, which is interesting, because th that means that at the end of the battle, we're going to have control of these different units. Now, that one there is a level 3, and that's a level 1. So, not great additions, but, um, yeah, we don't have to really worry about them anymore. So... Now what we can do is I was going to bring this one across to this side, but I think what I'm now going to do is is hit this unit with uh, with both the dragon and with that unit. Plus we still have this unit over here as well that we can make use of. Now what I could do is I could actually move this one over to this side and do a shot down that way. That would then kill that one off. In fact, that's going to be the better the better way to go. Um, and then I can bring either one of these units to then go and finish off that one, hopefully, and that will get rid of the bees as well. So that's that's really dramatically sort of moved the, the combat into our favour. I'll just go this way. Move. And then skill. Flame shot. And we just move it down this way. So this is going to do 130 damage. So it's going to leave it with about 107 after this. In fact, you can see it down the bottom here. 107 will be what's left. Now it's defending with forest, uh, but forest against fire, like so, so green against fire doesn't work. And so this this actually gives us a bit of a boost, a fair bit of a boost. So that that element is not strong against uh, against fire. So we'll just go case. another level now the uh, what we actually we need to figure out which one of these is going to be the best one to do the attack um, I think that, I think we can do 120 with this one so let's just try this one here we also do have magic We've got flame for 120 and that will kill this one off 100% accuracy not a problem in the world let's do that that one goes as well now. So you can stop your swaying. So, so Monica, uh, but I was supposed to be the lead. <laughs> and we've got a, another healer unit that's now being left behind as well. So now we just have A, and they're sort of protecting back in through this side, um, which is interesting. So we've got like, these are no longer under anyone's control. See how they've got, they don't have any letters left. So we can just ignore them. And now we just have to go after the, after the others. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna now move in. They, they no longer stop anything. They, they just really don't have any real control. This one's still got all of its, its hit points left. So I'm gonna move it around to this corner. It's still within the range. Because of the power, like against a um, against a lowly old um, uh, guy here, we shouldn't have any real troubles. So it's going to hit back with 74, but it, 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 like we're going to be able to survive one turn here with um, with Baron the dragon. 
against Boonin, the um, the lizard man. He's a level eight as well. Okay, yeah, defense skill. So he actually did fairly well. Now it's C's turn to play. Uh, this is our healer. Now, did, is there anything else we wanted to heal up while we were here? I don't think we do because we none of these now have to worry about these other units. We've really smashed this um, this incursion that they sent out after us. Um, it's a really cool game. Like you, sort of, you can see there through there. I do have a unit there. One, two, three for the rock. A bit of magic there. The heal can do that. It gets it nearly up to full strength. And I can move afterwards with this one. So I will move this one up. Now, I don't want to get in the way of the other units. So I'm just going to be a bit mindful as to where I actually do position this one. I don't want to go too far out there because they will then have a turn before we do. So I'm thinking I'm just going to move into there. And just go to standby. Now the rock gets a turn, but so does this one here. Um, and this one, actually. Let's do the curse. On this, I'm going to help us. I thought uh, we can. You know, it's. I thought we have a range three with the curse. Venom. I'll do that. I'll just do a venom attack against this unit here. So that brings that one down a little bit. Um, the rock was actually this one here. Let's go and do it a shot with this one. down to 72 so we've got um, 200 odd there we've still got the rock attack but I've still got this one as well let's go and do a move and we have a hell bite which does a lot of damage it does 79 back this one here does only 46 back we'll do 100 there I think I'll still take this one because we can do 110 so and it's only gonna have 63 accuracy back against our against our hellhound Oh, defense skill went up again. We did manage to do the attack. Now with these, these get to move after their attack, so we're just going to go back to move again. And we'll move back. <laughs> back out of the way. And that just leaves the rock. I'll just try skill and just sort of see how we go. We've got big roar. Uh, deals minor damage to all units in a two hex radius, never misses. Now that's going to hit our guys as well. So if we have a look at this one, we do more damage, so let's just do that. Oh, God, we're close. If that, if that hit had gone in, we would have killed that unit. It's their turn now. Healing, that's okay. We do the same again as well. Now, we're within the healing range of our, our priest. Baron's got to level 9. Great. We just need him to get to level 10. And then we have another massive dragon. So, now we've, none of these we have to worry about. So, we now, now we're sort of going to be moving forward with our forces. Uh, I want to be moving up with this one to start with. Actually, what I might do is... This one still has enough magic to do a heal. After the combat's finished, we don't have to worry about anything. So, let's just get that one up to full strength. Um, like it, it goes to 100% strength again afterwards when it's the next combat. Just do a move. Yeah, I can't really do much with that one, so I'll just move that one to the side. Just put some pressure on this angel. The angel hasn't really come into it. That's a fairly powerful unit. That one would be okay. Oops, Simon. Sorry, I did the wrong thing. Should have gone standby. Um. Got this little guy. I do want to bring this one up. Into the meadow. Away from the swamp. Definitely want to bring him close. All of our units get to move first, so we'll move him up. Oh, he can actually do a heavy hit. What do I do there? Space J. There's nothing. There's nothing close by, so I'm just going to do standby there. 
Had me confused there for a second. Uh, this one, it's going to get in the way. Let's just move it up anyway. Just move it sort of across and out of the way. Oh, again. Okay. It's seeing the other units and sort of automatically going into the other, the other aspect. There's nothing there that I have to really heal up, so I'm just going to leave this one back in behind the others. Um, just back in here. Just for the next um, in standby. Move. Um, yeah, it's going to make it... I don't want to be wasting this one at all. So I'm going to just move it back into here. And then on standby. And Eliza, we're now back to the A's. So she can move up and uh, do damage to that um, that other unit. So we'll, we'll actually, where's the other dragon? This is the one that we really should be moving up and doing things with. So we do, that only has 10 points coming back the other way, only 55 coming back this other way as well. Defensive skill, my God, it's, it's really doing well. It's sort of rolling very, very good defensive rolls. It's funny because you don't notice the RNG in this game anywhere near like you do with some of the other games. It's, it's, it's nice because you do actually have only a small percent chance that you're going to sort of stumble with things. Um, she can't get a shot in on anything, so we'll just move her up. Move. Stand by. Now we do actually have this unit, which has got 66 points left. So I do have a shot if I can get a lineup, but I don't really have... I've got a lineup from there, but then it, it puts this one in the very middle of all of the fighting. And so I'd prefer not to do that. Um, I can do it from there and hit all three of those. It's almost got enough points, so let's go and do that. This is our last big magical shot, really. Twelve, that's good. You know that one there can get all the way down to the to the middle there, so we'll take that one down. It's funny how quickly we've now bypassed all of the um, all of the others. And skill, Dragon Fury. I can do 110 power there. Both of them aren't great. Um, this one does less damage back. That was good. The dragons are just incredibly good. I really do like them a lot. Uh, now I've got to, I can actually move around and get rid of the other unit, and I think I'm going to do that because I can then use C, uh, so my, my C group to then look after others. So let's just move across here. So we have to sort of move away from the zone of control. Zagon, Dragon Fury through here, 87% accuracy. Unless we missed. <laughs> Good old RNG, there it goes, it kicks in every so often. Um, now, the, the, um, the healing. There's no one really that I need to heal. So I'm going to move this one up. Move this one up. That leaves a few of our units outside of their... Actually, it's too late now. I've now moved them outside of where they should have been. Uh, actually, no, it won't matter that much. It won't matter because I'll be able to, I'll be able to move them in. So that's C. Um, you now we do actually have this guy here. And what we'll do is I just I do want to make sure I protect the magical unit a little bit better as well. So I'm just going to move this one back over to here. But I don't know if I if I go a big claw. They do 85, it's not worth it. So I'm just going to go to standby at that location, just as a protection. And this one here, we're not going to have... The magic is not going to really work. So we'll move. 
<clears throat> they'll move this one back in behind their units as well. I don't think they're going to be able to do much. Actually, I've moved the, I'm moving these outside of the range of my of my healer. Oops, okay. move. And we'll move this one back into here. Um, keep in the forest. So you can see there we get plus 20% accuracy and plus 20% evasion by being in the forest. So skill, hunter shot, and we can actually hit this one or this one. So we can do uh, 72 to that one and 72 to that one as well. I'll take this one here. Level four. We want that to level ten as soon as we possibly can. All right, here's our um, our trusty old hellhound. So we'll move that one into here. Skill hellbite. Yep, we can kill it if we can just get it's 100% accuracy. That's a, that's good. Really All right. On to level eleven, and uh, we do keep on. We can keep on moving. It's only got one square to move into. If I do that, it just means that this other magic user is just slightly protected. So let's just do that. Well, I should. I thought it was actually going to run. But staying in the fight, I would have run. Ooh, big damage. Wow, we've actually hit, we've hit hard with a lot of these. So, we now have B. Um, let's have a look and see what we can do with this one here. So if we just go across this There's nothing much there. We do have a flame attack. And we have a weakness attack. Um, let's do the flame attack on the angel, I think. Yeah, that's good. So we should have that one down. That will then allow our dragons in to hit the uh, the hero. Um, okay, so move you up. The meadow and the meadow. We're just getting back onto that meadow over there. Magic abilities in through there. Protect we can't can no longer afford. Sign up we can't really make use of. So this one's really just it's done. It's it's really they are completely useless. <laughs> well, the, the next best thing to useless. Uh, let's just move it over here. Keep on standby. Um, now we do have this healing ability in through this side, but nothing close enough for us to really heal that we need to heal. Um, Range three, actually, maybe we could. Let's go for the big, the big dragon again. And it's this one with um, with B. Um, this is in the B group. The A group gets to go and move next. I can move all the way down to here. I'll be moving the A's around th this way as well. But I could actually hit this one and then open up the attacks to come back into the into this area. If I move there, we can have a bit of a look to see what the skills would actually then do. So when we look at this one here, because of the protection that they're on, like they're on a uh, on a castle tile, they actually get like all sorts of different protections. Now this is one of those ones where if we did have a, a, a unit that could then change that to a flying unit, it then loses a lot of its protection. <laughs> so that's one thing you can do with those sorts of units. So if we do that one, this one here, we do 99 damage, so we almost get it killed, but we don't actually quite do it. So it's not really worth doing. So we'll just go and move it, but we'll move it down into this location. And we'll still do the skill, Dragon Fury. That one there, we don't do, hardly do any damage to the flying unit. I think we take this one on. 81 damage. 
and 89 damage back. But we've got more hit points. It's on level 4, that's good. Uh, this one's got no more real power, so it's used up all of its healing in the early part of the fight. Let's just move that one up. And we've still got the archer as well. Um, I do want to weaken that other unit. So if we move that one around to here, hunt a shot against that unit there. Now, is that all of B? Yeah, it is. Now, with A, she can move in close. She's taken a lot of damage. That one doesn't really get to move. This one here, I can move around. Actually, I'll just press J there. All of these have actually been hit pretty hard. If I move, if I kill that one off using this guy, Actually, sorry, if I just forget that, forget that. If I go this one here, skills, I can still use the Acid Breath. I've got, I've got 50 mana points left, 51, and I've, this one's costing 50. So we'll definitely go that way. That will then kill off the, um, the Angel and do damage to all the others as well. Nice. Six, level seven, great, level eight. Nice work, nice, very, very nice work there. Uh, this one here, we want to move that one into this location. It's burning fury, we want to attack this guy. So it's going to do 158. Oh, critical hit, we almost got it killed. Now, if we can destroy that one, it would be useful getting some of these other healing units if we can, if some of these are left back on the battlefield. Now, this one here, I think, is... is um, like that, There's a possibility, I think, with that one there. I can do it a few different ways. I've still got this unit and this unit and that unit there, actually. So, But I'll give her the, uh, the coup de gras. So we'll just go back to move. And skill drive it's 99% accuracy it's I mean you're gonna be pretty pissed off if the RNG works against us this time there we go critical hit awesome work there must be a mistake somewhere <laughs> says Selena <laughs> so her troops retreated and yes we did get that one okay that's good so uh, Eliza's gone up to level 21 Come on, dragons. Did anyone else? That one didn't escape. <clears throat> Don't be content with today's victory. We must, must continue to aim higher. So we'll take the location, it's victory. Kind of bonus experience and total with a few other ones. That one's got a 12. It's 9. I want, that one. I want them at 10. That's 7. I want all of these to get to 10. can skip this, but I do like to sort of see, particularly with our main attack group. And we picked up a lot of other forces. We didn't, have, unfortunately, we didn't get that Pegasus unit. That would have been useful. But we did pick up a lot of extras. Um, okay, well, we wow, we're nearly out of time again. <laughs> so that's the battles. I, I was, you know... I don't know how many episodes to do. I really love playing this game, but it's it's really quite involved. See, look at all, look at what we, what we captured. We captured an awful lot after we destroyed each of their each of their units. Now, if like this is our main commander, our main leader. If a main commander gets killed off in the battle, all of the troops retreat. So you basically lose everything. So you've got to be very very careful when you are losing your using your leader. But they're also usually very very powerful. So uh, actually one thing we should do is just finish off by now allocating out of oh, just make sure there's no other attacks. First, there may be attacks. Getting stories, store pages, the okay we, we get story pages. I'm just gonna skip past this. Essentially it just gives it fills in a bit of the backstory. It's just more of the um, more of the um, the yeah the, the lore of the world, but I will skip past that one. Best results, so he failed. 
We've got a great one there. We've got a two, a panacea. So miracle medicine that immediately heals a wounded knight and returns them to the front lines. This is actually gonna be important if we lose any knights. So uh, when, they, when they get damaged, they then basically go back and I think they go back to the capital. That way we can resurrect them or, or heal them up straight away very quickly. And then they're back into the fight. Okay, so we uh, quit out of that one. We'll just go press K. And good, through there as well, a white band. Okay, so this is equivalent by all monsters. And what does this one do? The effects are... Nothing. It's, oh no, it gives, it gives us a little bit of extra white in through there. A little bit of extra power. So that would be, for example, useful on a dragon, just to sort of get a bit more attack power. So it's just going to help generally attacking with with the um, with a good the, the goodness or the life life um, life attacks rather than death attacks etc or you know what the others are so anyway that's fine and they did they, they were excellently as well so she may have even gone up a level or two to level two level two level five okay that's fine on the outskirts of town Ebony comes across a young traveler like, this is good this is usually where you pick up a unit so uh, just go okay Moves forward so dangerous situation hey put that thing away i'm not going to hurt someone how do you uh, threaten my baby with a thing she's harmless blah 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 blah. let's just get skip past it to the, the cup here this is tilda um so i'm sure that she will join us i would imagine yeah. so this is her backstory, essentially. <laughs> I will skip past because I want to get to those those items. No choice but to leave her her painting. Oh, I didn't read it all. Damn it! <sighs> Stupid me. I should have actually read all that because there'll be clues as to how to get her, and I didn't read it. <laughs> we have to look at the recording. Um, <laughs> that was stupid of me. And I have gone over the half hour mark. So maybe we'll start the next one, at least so I can then go through the items, because uh, we're now in the organization phase uh, of, our, of our army. And you'll see there that if we have a look, you'll see in brackets, we've got five units that aren't actually allocated. So if you have a quick look at these units and go to the, um, to the troops and have a look at the actual units, we've got all of those units that we've picked up. You see there that the, the damage that was done, there's no, there's no problems with any of those. Um, there was no level ups. We got to level nines now with these two dragons. This is very, very close to getting a level up now, uh, which is awesome. And uh, this one got to level seven as well, which was quite nice. So uh, things are getting closer. We're getting go. Uh, the, the units are getting better. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. And then when we come back into the next phase, I will actually make sure that we then do the items. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you then.